Welcome back. And Katie, you're talking about a, a half and half weekend? I like that wording. Yeah. You know, I, I, you, I feel. <laughs> did I say that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yes. well, it's funny because I feel like I've been saying nothing but unsettled for the last week and a half lately, yeah. you know? You uh, but up. exactly. Yeah. I try to. Yeah. There's only so many ways you can say scattered showers and storms <laughs> before it starts to get really stale, right? Yeah. But yeah, some more wet weather to track out there. I don't think we're talking washout status at all this weekend. However, I still need you to keep your ears perked for thunder over the course of the weekend because of this pattern that we're stuck in. Essentially, all that there, all that's happening as a frontal boundary is also stuck, and it's going to keep us in that um, instability for the next two days. And then eventually, a pretty potent cold front will come along. That's what's going to wipe the slate clean and get us into a brighter sky. But it's going to take a few days. So again, let's take you outside. We'll show you what's happening. Starting it off with a view of Storm Scan Three, more of a region-wide zoom. And right now, again, most of the region is still dry. It's just very cloudy outside, and it will stay that way through the rest of the afternoon for many of you. It's trying to brighten up in some spots. We'll show you an example of that in a second, but let me just walk you through future weather. I'll jump you first up till about 4 p.m. this afternoon. If these verify, you're talking heavy downpours, but location, location, location. It is all about where you are and whether you're lucky enough to either avoid uh, or maybe unlucky enough to get stuck under one of these pop up showers or storms. And some of them could really get feisty, especially in central Pennsylvania. But if this does in fact verify in a Bucks County, Lehigh Valley around 8 p.m., it could be tough traveling through this. So you'll need to keep an eye to the sky, as we mentioned. And again, expect that not everyone will get hit at any given moment. It is scattered in nature, but even into the overnight, a few showers or thunderstorms may still be out there. Tomorrow, similar idea. It is going to stay warm. It will remain muggy, and you'll still have this smattering of showers or even a thunderstorm to pop almost at any time. And that's certainly true up toward 4 p.m. tomorrow as well. So that continues to be this theme. Now, dew points are high. They were a lot lower even early this morning, kind of backwards, actually, when you think about it, what you'd normally see on a summer day. But mid up, even upper 60s currently up and down I-95, much muggier in a Dover, a Millville, where you're in the 70s. So it does feel steamy out there, and it feels like sea air even in the city, if that makes sense. And outside we go to one of those shore points, specifically at Rehoboth Beach, where, yeah, the sun is trying to break through. It looks like a nicer afternoon here, and that should be the case everywhere else eventually the sky should break for at least a little bit of sunshine, but we have not seen very much of it. That's certainly true as of late. And coming off of the story earlier in the broadcast about rip currents, make sure you're being careful out there. Today we do still have a moderate risk for rip currents. If you are going to take a dip, please do so near those lifeguards. It is so important. And if you find yourself ever caught in a rip current, swim parallel to the shore, and then we'll, you'll feel yourself get out of that, then swim back. That's the way to get out of this. Here's the rest of your beach forecast, though, for today. 79 degrees, scattered shower, perhaps a thunderstorm, granted, but that UV index is not going to be all that high. Still want you to lather on the sunblock. Father's Day is steamy. 90 degrees with a spotty storm. But again, if you have outdoor plans, I think you can keep them. Just keep your ears perked for thunder. Monday looks wet, though. That's when mm. the cold front comes. Mm. That's when we'll see our best chance for heavier rain and storms. Okay, good to know. Katie, thank you. you.